Hey everyone, Dan here from Evolving SEO and the Experts in the Wire SEO and Marketing Podcast. Uh, I was just given a little request here on Twitter and I'm asked a lot to uh, give demo of the now provided report in Authority Labs. This is one of my favorite parts of the Authority Labs tool, super useful for finding content opportunities and opportunities to get more traffic for your site. Uh, so I'm going to link to the now provided section on Authority Labs. Uh, if you don't use Authority Labs, it's a great rank tracker. Here I am right here, actually, with a testimonial of them. I just noticed that right now. And I'm going to link to it in the description. So I recommend definitely checking it out. You can do a free trial. But uh, let's get right into the tutorial. So uh, the now provided tool is a way to give you an idea, a glimpse into maybe some of the traffic and the keywords driving that traffic that you might be missing. As you're probably familiar with, you can no longer get uh, this information within Google Analytics. So I'm going to first just show you how to set this up. I'm going to go to the mobile version of my website, evolvingseo.com, where I have not set up this tracking yet. What you're going to do is go to the domain where you want to hook up not provided. Make sure that you have analytics access to that domain. You're going to click on the little gear icon there. Under now provided, you're going to click activate. And then you're basically going to look through to find your analytics token essentially and you're going to click through a series of prompts i'm not going to do right that right now i don't want to reveal a bunch of client websites i have in there but that's essentially how you're going to hook up not provided so let me go over back to my regular desktop profile and by the way authority labs is is great for tracking mobile and desktop you can track uh, mobile traffic desktop traffic and competitors traffic all for your domain and you can group them together but Anyways, here is the regular report from my website, evolvingseo.com. Once you've hooked up now provided, it's going to take a few minutes, maybe half an hour, maybe an hour. You'll get an email once that's connected. Once that is connected, you can then this will be activated here on the left. You can click on now provided. And this takes you to the now provided report. There's a few ways to use this. Number one, this graph right here is a great analysis. I don't know anywhere else you can get a graph exactly like this. This is showing you the number of pages driving traffic to your website by day. And what you want to look for in this graph here, and it's a great analysis tool. I often take screenshots of this and give it to clients. If you're publishing new content, adding new blog posts, or adding new products, or adding new services, this chart should be going up. You should be getting more traffic by more pieces of content on a daily basis. So this is a great chart just to show you if your website is on track for all of the content driving the traffic like it should. So that's a great little analysis. You can view it by a month, by three months, by six months. And of course, you can take this and zoom way out to a year. Now, the now provide the core feature in the now provided report is it's surfacing keywords that you're visible for in search or maybe even getting some traffic for it, but maybe you did not know about. So this box here on the right hand side, this is giving you the top keyword opportunities, meaning that you're visible in search for these keywords, but maybe you didn't know about them or maybe you didn't know to track them. And what you can do right here is you can actually click on this uh, little magnifying glass here. And you can get a little report for each now provided keyword. And that should open up somewhere. Let me try clicking this one right here. That's going to reveal exactly where that keyword is and the landing page that it belongs to. So this belongs to my home page. It's currently ranked position number seven. I did not even know about this keyword. So apparently my home page is ranking number seven for paid tools, whatever that means. So what you can go ahead and do is you can add that keyword. Now, strategically, you could do many things from here. I'm just going to talk about in a moment. But additionally, you can also add your extra keywords by clicking on any one of these plus signs right here. And you can just start a you can just start tracking these with one click. It's super easy. But here's where a lot of the opportunity is. As you dive into the individual pages, now you're going to get a sorted view by the number of sessions. And let me explain this report here. This report is pulling together data from analytics, because remember, you connected analytics just a few minutes ago. It's pulling in SEMrush data. And as I'm sure a lot of you know, I love the tool SEMrush. And it's connecting that together with the Authority Labs data that they have. And as you click on each landing page here, now we're seeing the really great aspects of this report. By landing page, so this is my article about Yoast SEO. 
we're seeing the keyword, the position is your ranking, the search volume is Google search volume, the cost per click, and the competition, this is the AdWords data. The percentage of traffic it's driving to your website, this comes from SEMrush. This comes from SEMrush, the traffic cost, and the number of results in Google, that comes from Google, but I think they're pulling that from SEMrush as well. And I believe the, this is the ranking trend of that, or maybe the search volume trend, I'm not exactly sure. And then again, by one click, you can just track that and start adding that. So I'm gonna show an example that I already uncovered. Now let's say I've posted content and I want to rank that content and drive even more traffic to it. So here's an article that I just posted a week or two ago. It was an article about examples of meta descriptions. Now, as you can see, I drilled into this and there's some keywords I was not even aware of that's ranking position 23 with a decent amount of long tail search volume. Example of meta description. I did not think of that variation of that long tail. So I'm gonna go ahead and with one click, I'm gonna track rankings on that. Now, strategically, I could take this keyword and I could actually go to my article. And as you'll see, uh, I think I'm ranking on page two for that exact keyword right now. You're gonna go to your article which is right here ranking on page two hopefully to bump that hopefully bumping that to page one uh, in short order but what I can do is I can take okay example of meta description maybe this is a phrase I have not actually used that phrase on my piece of content in that particular way so I don't advocate a lot of keyword stuffing or trying to bump up keyword density or anything like that but what I do advocate is that maybe users are searching for it this way as evidenced by search volume. And I just wanna deliver them the answer in the way that they're looking for it. So what I would probably do is take this data and say, okay, I'm gonna go back to my post and I'm gonna maybe put a few of these phrases back into my content, maybe SEO description examples. Maybe I'd wanna take a look at what, what the intent of what people are looking for is there. Um, maybe just meta description. Maybe eventually I could rank a lot higher for just the keyword meta description. So I'm gonna start tracking that. And the beauty of, once you start tracking this, now you can see how your position moves day after day after day. Because remember, Authority Labs is daily rank tracking. And I advocate always using a daily rank tracker as much as possible. So that's just a few of the ways you can use the Now Provider Report. Another way, one last way that I wanna show you is you can get completely new content ideas from this. So I did a post a while ago about how to fix redirect chains. And if you don't know, redirect chain is when you've got an old URL, it links to a second URL, which then redirects to a third URL and maybe a fourth and a fifth. Those are good to undo for SEO purposes. But this article, as it turns out, and as the tool is pulling up and surfacing keywords I didn't know about, it's ranking sort of highly, not, not super highly, for what is a redirect. So my article doesn't actually address what a redirect is. It assumes that people know what a redirect is. So maybe I want to go and create a new article that just defines what a redirect is. Maybe I want to create something that is an article around how to check to see if a URL redirects or how to remove redirects. As you can see, there's a lot of new content ideas here. I've used the Authority Labs now provided information for clients sometimes to find new content ideas, publish new articles around that, and then they can drive more traffic by posting new content. Now you wanna keep in mind when you're looking through here and deciding should I do a new piece of content or just optimize my existing content, you've gotta map back what people are looking for by trying to reverse engineer the intent of what they're searching. So if I'm just thinking intuitively of like somebody searching define redirect, they're just looking for what that is. You can almost rephrase that to the person asking what is a redirect? Whereas a person that's searching for redirect chain or stop redirection or stop redirect chain, maybe I can do a little analysis there just intuitively or searching through Google and determine that the person is looking for what my article answers. So just to recap here, there's um, basically four ways to use this tool. Number one, you can keep track of how many pages are driving traffic. Number two, you can add your most top volume opportunity keywords and make sure you're tracking rankings on those daily to keep track of the opportunities. 
Number three, you can go back and find new keywords to re-optimize, maybe to add back into your content to drive even more traffic to bump up the long tail of those. And number four is you can find maybe new content ideas around posts that are driving a lot of keywords that have maybe a different intent than what your article talks about and you can create some great companion content. As I'm sure you all know, like Google, Google loves sites that helps answers people, people's question, questions with multiple pieces of content, not just a single piece of content. So maybe part of my strategy here is to have a series of posts that talks about redirect chains, not just the one that I have right now. So I hope this helps if you're trying to figure out how to use Now Provided or maybe trying to decide if you want to use Authority Labs. Again, I'm going to link to Authority Labs in the description below. And you can find some more information about Authority Labs on my website, evolvingseo.com. And I would love if you check out my podcast, Experts on the Wire. It's in iTunes, it's in Player, Google Play, all the podcast places. And it's on evolvingseo.com slash wire. Thanks for tuning in. Leave any questions you have below and I'll see you next time. Time to hit stop. Stop.